Welcome back to Your Hour. I'm being joined now by Cody Deal, and if you'll remember, Cody was here a couple of months ago. Yes, I was. I don't remember exactly what month it was you were here, but um, Cody is an actor, and you are actually the, the star of Almighty Thor, which will be released in DVD. It actually world premieres first on Sci-Fi. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay. Sci-Fi picked it up. It'll be a Sci-Fi original, so it'll air May 7th. Uh, of this year on Sci-Fi. Very good. Yep, and then a few days after that, it'll go to um, uh, standard DVD. Uh -huh. So uh, all your uh, international release, so all your video outlets like Redbox, Blockbuster, um, all those. And then May 24th, it'll go to Blu-ray, which Very I'm pretty good. excited about too. Yeah. Yeah, and I just actually just saw the uh, the box cover, and it looks really cool. Yeah, so. you showed me. It does yeah. look neat. Yeah. Um, and then when it comes out in Blu-ray, it'll actually have a little more information on it. Yes, yeah, so you'll have a little bit more bonus features. Um, it'll also be like crystal clear HD, which will be really cool, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and so it'll be a good experience. And then redo, we'll redo the um, the box cover to promote the Blu-ray DVD release as well. Okay. And you can pick those up even right now, pre-order on Amazon.com. Oh, really? Okay. Um, and a couple other um, websites out there. So That's nice to know. Yeah, and the trailer should be out here in a few weeks, I would think. And, and are you going to get us one? I am. Good. I'm going to make sure that we have it. Good. I'd love to. We'd love to air the trailer. For oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, the other thing is your your work. Well, now in um, Almighty Thor, you're the hero. Yes. Okay. Yes. But in Super Seeds, I play. You're the bad guy. I play the bad guy. Yeah, I play the super villain. Uh huh. So we go from superhero Thor mm -hmm. um, to super villain Mark Hardon. <laughs> so. <laughs> I yeah. love that. <laughs> Mark Hardon, he's he's a funny guy. He makes a lot of a uh, lot of jokes, uh -huh. um, but he's uh, it's kind of like so we go from drama, fantasy, action, drama mm -hmm. to comedy action. So you can't take a guy's name Mark Hardon too seriously. That's right. Um, so it's a comedy action. It's kind of like a kick ass. It's mm -hmm. more like a super bad, but with superpowers. Okay. So um, it's it's kind of that dry sense of humor. It can mm -hmm. probably appeal to the eighteen to thirty two year old audience. Um, but it's cool for me as an actor because it's not going to pigeonhole me as just um, this Super way or hero. just mm -hmm. exactly. So you can see it like a culmination of things. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that project. What do you like playing better, the hero or the villain? I think I'm going to like playing the bad guy a little too much. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but no, both were equally rewarding. Um, and I'm glad I could do both just so quickly, back to back films. Mm -hmm. we, shot, um, uh, we shot Thor in December and then we shot. Super seeds in January, so and then I then I actually just recently booked a uh, HBO series um, uh, that's shooting in Eastern Europe um, next month in April. Oh, good. Do you know what it's? <laughs> yeah, and, and and you're not going to play one of the girls. No, it's about I play one of the uh, girl girls um, regular boyfriends. It's mm -hmm. basically about these girls who have these certain rules that they have to uh, abide by to pick up men, and they don't typically work. <laughs> And so I play the steady boyfriend of one of them, so I'm just a, a small recurring role. Um, we're going to shoot two episodes in Romania. Um, oh, really? The capital of Romania. Um, uh, it's not Buc Bu Budapest, Bucharest. Ah, okay. Bucharest and, uh, next month. So that should be very rewarding and cool. Part of the reason, two reasons like I, why I like doing film, or one of the reasons why I came out there and I was like, what would be cool about it, mm -hmm. is one is like learning new skill sets, like sword fighting. There you, you know, go. I got to train with Dan Speaker, who is like, the original sword master for Hook, mm -hmm. which was Steven Spielberg's Hook. So he okay. taught Dust, Dustin Hoffman and Robin Williams. He did Master and Commander with Russell Crowe. So I, I got to have the, um, I was fortunate enough to work with him. Um, and and T, uh, TF1 over in France just aired uh, on their um, version of 60 Minutes, a hu uh, like a two minute segment on Dan. And because, you know, he's world renowned for, mm -hmm. you know, theatrical combat and, you know, training Very cool. for film. And so, and then the other thing that I like about film is traveling. I've sure, never been out of the see country. The world. <laughs> yeah, I've actually never been east of Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. So I, there's a whole part of the world that I haven't seen. I can sympathize with that. I don't oh, get really? much further south than Wellington. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't leave the four because I grew up here. You mm -hmm. know, I didn't leave the four state area until I was 18. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's very common. And that was My, what two years ago. Uh, three. Uh, <laughs> I'm 25 now. I had my 25th okay. birthday um, this past month, so I'm a quarter of a century now. So very good. I tell you what, <laughs> I feel I feel in a good place. So well, you did, and, and you're doing. I, I'm glad that your career is pro, uh, is progressing because um, it's 
it's not an easy field. It, it's not, and, and, and we're very excited because um, I'm actually, uh, uh, this coming week after I leave here, I'm actually back for my high school coach's funeral. Um, he uh, in, actually passed away um, this past Sunday for, for the Oscars, mm -hmm. and on Oscar Day, which was serendipitous to me because this guy was really like a father figure to me. I grew up with my mother, mm -hmm. and he was my high school coach, and he just, he, he really made me realize how important it, like a male influence is. Sure. And so um, I'm back for that, but... Um, after we leave here, I'm going to Vegas to do, um, to do a uh, guest appearance at my beginning acting studio, because uh, Gerald Gordon, um, kind of what Coach did for me, um, Coach Davis in Sedan, mm -hmm. what he did for me is he helped me believe that I could be a, become a stellar athlete, and through his kind of uh, seeds of possibility, he made me believe I could play D1 ball and probably go to the NFL. Certain circumstances, I fractured my arm, went different routes, ended up in acting. Mm -hmm. Well, Gerald Gordon in Vegas is where it initially began. And he's the one who kind of planted the seeds of possibility of being in the business for 15, 50 plus years, coaching Adrian Brody, the youngest Oscar uh, um, Academy Award winner for yeah. Best Actor. He planted the seeds of possibility in me, like, Cody, there, you can do some great things in Hollywood. So I only trained with Gerald for three or four months, but I'm going back to that studio because he's like, you know, you're one of the rare actors that, that you know, have hit, um, hit so soon. You've been there, March 1st made 21 months that I've been uh -huh. there. Um, so I haven't even been there for two years. And my goal, um, my second year, was to was to actually um, uh, be the, to, to to be a star of, of a film, and mm -hmm. that's a very lofty goal for your second year in Hollywood. <laughs> and so May seventh will be there, and then June first will be actually my two year anniversary. So it's kind of like I, I I made that uh you know I made that accomplishment, mm -hmm. you know. So being on the DVD box cover, that's I'm still the kid from Kansas, you know. Yeah. That's crazy that people are going to see me in Blockbuster and. That's weird. You know what I'm I saying? know that guy. You know, um, so I know that dude. The, and we're getting a lot of PR from it, which is really great. I guess people love that. I come from a small town of 1,200 people mm -hmm. right here in Kansas, and I think people take to that. Yeah. And I think what makes me stand out a little bit um, in Hollywood is the, the down to earth demeanor. I think if there's any time to be real in Hollywood, it's now. With like the social networking sites and everything sure, like that, sure. you can't hide behind these masks That's anymore. <laughs> you know? Well, you can, but. They they'll out you <laughs> exactly. So so I think people take to that to that like when I walk into the casting office, it's like wow this guy's different, mm -hmm. you know. And then I can go into character, and then I can be you know a jerk or this or that. But mm -hmm. you know you're still you're, you're 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 very pleasant to be around, and people want to hire people who are pleasant to be around. Well, sure, because and they get tired of working with prima donnas. They do, and I think th that call comes from my Kansas roots, to be honest. Well, Cody, it's always a pleasure having you here. Anytime you're in town, we would uh, love to see you. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, it's been like it's been great. Thanks. And good luck to you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more your hour.